The Earth Summit seeks to strengthen the creative economy across SADC and increase awareness of the arts sector as a vital regional industry. The National Arts Council of Namibia Board Chairperson Patrick Sam said the arts sector is largely ignored by policymakers, which has a dire consequences for investments in the sector. When we talk about arts, I think we will almost use a, a more lame terminology, but we talk about the creative economy. Uh, we're talking about um, an industry that's worth over 2.2 trillion US dollars globally, but that Africa only constitutes 4% of. Uh, so there's great opportunity there, and that's why we're hosting the summit, to ensure that the creative economy and the arts and the cultural sectors become a key part of, of national development planning documents, of the SADC trade and industrialization strategy. The platform will create an opportunity for industry players to interact and provide evidence to policy makers on how human creativity is a vital economic, social and cultural resource. About 150 delegates across SADC will attend the event, which include representatives from government institutions, national arts councils, as well as practitioners and educators. New opportunity that we need you to believe in, that you need you to invest in, because if we don't, us young people will be disenfranchised. And then things like the social ills will continue. People love to dance. Arts is about the beauty, right? So now we're saying that we can do that and still feed people and still address poverty and unemployment and inequality. Local artist Dashunye Shikongeni, also known as Papa Shikongeni, is hoping that the event will address various challenges the industry is faced with. The conference can come up and must have targeted people with idea, innovation ideas, and people with wisdom, and people who have creative innovation thoughts. So that we are not going to a conference or a summit where we are going to bring problems again. Discussions during the event will include, among others, healthy ecology of creative individuals as well as the need for evidence-based policy making for the industry. For Business Today, Selima Henok, Vantuk.